Somebody drill shark and get it out of town. Deputize the men and mount up. Close one. Too close. That's the end of Pegas Bates. Lawson, take care of him. Too bad he got shark before we found out who the rest of the gang was. Yeah, well, we can't help that now. Come on, let's go back to Mesquite. Pecos Bates was apparently the last of the gang that's been raiding the ranches. I hope so. If he was, then the men who've been burned out and run off their property can come back and start to rebuild. That's going to take money, Mr. Drake. Can the bank do anything for him? I hate to refuse that request, Jackson. The bank can't possibly advance more funds at this time. That, of course, is my attitude as president of the bank. However, as a private citizen, I'll be glad to start a fund to help our less fortunate neighbors. We all have some money coming from that last cattle shipment. I'll throw my share in the pot. That suits me. Well, you can count on the Duchess and me. Then it's agreed. How soon can you gentlemen get your money here? Right away, I guess. We can wire the stockyards to send it on to Mars mail stage. We might as well get things started. Let's send that wire right away. Now, wait a minute, fellows. That money's about all the ready cash we have. Let's put a guard on that stage we can trust. I'll ask Sheriff Dade himself to ride in the stage. Thanks, Drake. Don't mention it. Much obliged, Mr. Drake. That's good to help, sir. All right. Red, we're depending on you and the Duchess. Good day, Mr. Drake. Good day. I thought you wanted to get title of those ranches so that you could clean up when, when the railroad starts to build through here. Don't you see, Hanlon? This roundup money represents the last ready cash most of the ranches have. It's coming in on tomorrow's stage. That's the part I don't get. How can these men loan money that's been lost in a holdup? Oh, ho, ho.
We can't make it. Pull up. Whoa. Step down. Pass out that money pot. Take it easy. Drop your gun. Now get off. Howdy, Dade. Kind of figured you might pick up a couple of passengers along the road. Mighty good thing you came along, Ryder. I thought they had it. Get in there. This is one time you coyotes ride for nothing. We'll find out more about them when we get in the mesquite. Yeah. Much obliged. Stage is 15 minutes late now. I hope Dade will bring it in all right. I'm sure he will. Here it comes. I'm red with it. So he is. Everything's all right, Beth. What happened, Sheriff? These two hombres tried to hold us up. Red came along and we corralled them. Come on. I'll go along with you, Sheriff. Here you are, Mr. Drake. You tell Red. Red, they took the money. Who? Oh, two men. They went out the west road. You ride south, they'll think you're heading for the border. You can lose them in Echo Canyon and double back. You better take this with you. Split up. There's only one horse from here on. This one's headed straight for the border. He must have the money. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, boys.
we can't trace them in these rocks, we better go back to Mesquite and talk to Red. Alan is sending a couple of the boys out to take the money back to town. We'll head for the board till things cool off. What's up, Sprout? Two men go to old mine. One half river bag. That'll be the money pouch. Nice going, little beaver. Did you see Cherokee and the others? Little beaver yelled, but Cherokee not here. Where's your pony? Pony hiding rocks. You better back trail till you meet them and tell Cherokee I've gone on to the old mine. But Red Rider! Do as I tell you. Uh. Try it. That's Ryder's horse. Turn around. Time up. Hold it, Ryder. We can't get at him. Oh, yes, we can. 